Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Read it. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 13. Huh? Thou shalt not kill. You hear that? You hear that? Hey, bro, that's walking off. Did you hear what God just said? Thou shalt not kill. Did you know that killing comes in a lot of different forms? If you hate your brother, that's murder. If you hate your brother, that is murder. You just killed him. If you rape a woman, that's murder. That's, that's murder. God says don't kill. Why is there a lot of killing in our neighborhoods? That's how we became slaves. Because we didn't want to keep God's laws. Getting high, that's murder too. I said you, you feel me? I so I'm going to read this, this other scripture. Give me uh, Ephesians 4 and 3. Because we got to get our minds. You had something you wanted to say too, bro? I saw you, you stand on the pole. What, what was that next thing you wanted to say, Tobias? Yes, sir. Yeah, look here. I just, I just want to share something with you. Uh, uh, the religion is the number one thing. Don't get me wrong. You know, it's all about the religion. Ain't I hear about religion. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. I look at you. The Bible is not a religious book. Okay, okay, well I'm just saying. The Bible, the Bible is a history book that has prophecies in. This is our records. Yes, yes sir. You yes, sir. understand? Yes sir. yes, sir, yes, sir. It's no different from the, the traffic system. The traffic system was stole by the white man. But we created it. I know we The same thing with the Bible. We created this and he stole it. And then he taught us the wrong way because we didn't know how to read and write when we first came over here. In the language. We didn't know how to read and write in the English language. And when we got when he showed us how to read, then we start to bear witness with this thing, we start to change. That's what you see today. Read that. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 23. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So that's what we have to do, Tobias. Yes, sir. We have to be renewed in the spirit of our mind. Yes, sir. Yes, you understand sir. that? Yes, sir. We can't just say economics. Knowledge is what? Look, God's law. I'm trying to that's how we're going to get our minds right. right. But you cut me off, and I'm trying I, to. I heard you. I'm listening. No, 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 but I never got a chance to finish. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, well, what I'm going to say to you is, is that it goes much further than just, you know, reading a book. Even my books, okay? So when I was overseas, and I'm just making a long story short, when I sold out on my first book, when I was in London, when I was on the radio station twice. They invited me in on what they called me. Hey, Tobias, let me. The reason why the reason why I want to keep speaking. Is here, here, here's the reason why because I want our people to understand it's this. Where, give me a uh, give me uh, Revelation 14 and 12. Because we're going to read the Bible. That's what we. That's what's going to fix our community. The Bible is going to fix our community. It's not going to just be economics alone. It's not just going to be writing books. Bro, when we first started talking, None of that is going to happen. Bro, what's going to happen is, is that we're going to we're going to repent, keep God's laws, and the faith of Christ. Yes, that's sir. what's going to change us. Everybody that's what you. changes men. Read it. The Book of Revelation, chapter fourteen, verse twelve. Here is the patience of the saints. So here is the patience of the saints. The saints is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The ones that went into captivity because we broke God's rules. We broke God's laws. That's the reason why we're destroyed today. Look at these men next to you. We broke him, bro. We crying out for help. And this is what God says. Read. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. So here are they that keep the commandments of God. Give me uh, Psalms 40 and 8. You know what I'm saying? These are they that keep the commandments of God. When we keep the commandments of God, that's what builds our spirit up. That's what makes us want to stop being whoremongers. That's what makes us want to stop putting the drugs down. That's what makes us want to stop putting the guns down. That's what we have to do. That's what's going to change our communities. I get it. Us going from every block in the city of Chicago in this world, matter, matter of fact. Teaching this Bible is what's going to change. Not economics alone. First, we got to get the mind right. Read it. Chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So the law is what's perfect. The law is what's going to get your mind right. You know, a lot of these brothers that's out here gangbanging, that's out here getting drunk and high, they really don't want to do it. The only reason why they're doing it is because they feel defeated. They feel like they have no hope. 
but the Bible is what hope is. Because we just like you. We were just out here the same way. Selling dope, game banging, being homogas. But the Bible is what changed us. That's why we out here to help change you brothers. We're not out here trying to sell you no books. The Bible is free. This knowledge is free. We're not going to come out here with business cards and be like, here, buy my book. We're not going to do that. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect, subverting the soul. And the law of the Lord is free. That's what's going to convert your mind. You have to meditate in it day and night. Because if you have a problem with getting high, getting drunk, give me first Peter's 5 and 8. Because we need men that's warriors. That's going to stand up for the righteousness of God. You understand that, bro? Because I know you're tired of what's going on in our community. You're tired of seeing the trash. You're tired of us killing and shooting each other. You're tired of the police beating us down. You're tired of us not having our own, our own businesses, our own jobs. Our own brothers trying to hustle us. You understand that? Read. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. That's why it's important for us to get our minds right. We can't be out here high and drunk. Because our enemy is looking to keep us in traps. Our enemy is looking to keep us in these snares and holes, in the Cook County Jail, in the prison systems. Out here begging for crumbs. We the gods of the earth. We're supposed to rule this place. That's why we got to get our minds right. Read it again. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So he said, be sober. Be vigilant. That is an action. That is a choice. That is intentional. You have to make that choice. You have the power to do it. We on the west side of Chicago. This is the best side. We have the best men out here. You the best man God ever made. That's how you got to look at yourself. You feel me, bro? That's what we have to do. Because the adversary, the devil, he's seeking to destroy y'all. And we out here to try to help you from get not to get killed. Not to get destroyed. That's our job. That's right. You understand that? Read it again. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about. Seeking whom he may devour. Seeking whom he may devour. The reason why he want to devour you because you're stronger than him. He want to keep you down because as long as you're down, he can make merchandise of you. He can make a market of you. But our women and our men have to stick together. Because we have to raise these children in righteousness. Give me John 10, 34. Verse 33 and 34. We have to raise these children in righteousness. But in order for the women to be more attracted to a godly man, you have to get your minds right first. And I believe in all of you brothers to make that happen. Because you are the gods of this earth. That's right. Read that. The book of John, chapter 10, verse 33. The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stole thee not, but for blasphemy. And because that thou being a man makest thyself God. Jesus answered him, Is it, is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are God. He said what? Ye are God. He said what? Ye are God. Ye are gods. The 12 tribes of Israel. Look at this sign. Brothers, come look. Judah. Benjamin. Levi. Ephraim. Manasseh. Simeon. Zebulon. Gad. Reuben. Asher. Issachar. Nathali. These 12 tribes are the gods of the earth. That's right. But the enemy wants to keep us like slaves. And the reason how you become a slave is by not listening to God. When you do what God says, he makes you a God again. Let me give you one rule that we, we can keep. Give me uh, explanation now. Because an easy law for us to keep so that we could continuously to be gods on this earth is one simple rule. One simple one. Because we have to learn how to have emotional intelligence. Not to get always upset because someone pisses us off. Just because someone made you mad, you don't need to slap them upside the head. You talk things out with that brother. You work it out. Read it. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. You hear that? You hear that? Hey bro, that's walking off. Did you hear what God just said? Thou shalt not kill. Did you know that killing comes in a lot of different forms? 
If you hate your brother, that's murder. If you hate your brother, that is murder. You just killed him. If you rape a woman, that's murder. That's, that's murder. God says don't kill. Why is there a lot of killing in our neighborhoods? That's how we became slaves. Because we didn't want to keep God's laws. Getting high, that's murder too. Selling drugs, that's murder. There's a lot of different forms of murder. When you have sex with multiple women and you don't marry that one and raise them children, that's murder. That's hatred. So there's a lot of different forms we have to change. Don't you want to change, bro? Give me Acts 3 and 19. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. We have to repent and be converted. The laws is what converts us. I'm Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.